Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about some upgraded and updated versions of real-life supercars that I think would be great for GTA 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online, as well as a few awesome vehicle hybrid designs that I think would be so incredible, and they look so realistic and lifelike that if they were added in GTA 5, they would be so cool. Okay, so the reason I'm making this video is because what's going on right now is like the Geneva Motor Motor Show 2016 and if you don't know what that is it's like the E3 of cars it's where all these different car companies bring their newest special editions new vehicles things that don't exist yet and they show them off to the world for the first time and there's three supercars in particular that I think are absolutely incredible so I'm going to be showing you guys the new unveilings of those cars and how well I think they would fit in GTA 5 okay so by far one of the coolest cars they revealed at this show is the Bugatti Chiron and you guys know there's already a version of the Bugatti in game that would be the Trufate Adder and the Z type so this would be like the new little brother of the Adder in game that being the Bugatti Chiron so this is super cool Bugatti claims that it is now the world's fastest car, though it's electronically limited to 261 miles per hour in the road. Bugatti states that with all the restrictions lifted, the car would go significantly and considerably faster. So believe it or not, we've gotten a lot of supercars from DLCs in GTA Online, but one category that Rockstar have not wanted to update and touch would be the Trufate category, which is the Grand Theft Auto parody of Bugatti. And that makes sense because they had created really any new vehicles but now this would be the chance to add a new one in the game and I think it would be really cool if Rockstar took off two things from this vehicle that I noticed one is the fact that the spoiler is actually raised on this for whatever reason the adder that we have in game doesn't have like the retractable t20 style spoiler that normal adders do so I think that would be nice and also the paint job of the photos you guys are seeing right now it's a really cool two-tone where like the roof and the back portion of the car are like a darker blue and the front portion is a lighter blue so I know the adder kind of has like a two color scheme right now where like the dashes on the front hood they're a different color but the rest of the body is one solid color so I really do think that Rockstar could do some ultra cool things here and it's just an overall much sleeker in my opinion look to the Bugatti brand and I think it would be a great upgrade to the adder to see in Grand Theft Auto Online so I know at one point the adder was like the crown jewel of GTA Online really because it was at a time the most expensive supercar and that's like the one you would want to get but now it just seems there's so many other supercars I really do feel like it's time for an upgrade for the Trufade family. However, moving on, let's talk about another incredible vehicle that was added. Lamborghini actually added a new car, and you guys know Lamborghini is a huge part of the GTA 5 family with the brand of Pegasi. We know that there's so many Pegasi vehicles in the game, with the newest one being the Osiris supercar. However, Lamborghini just unveiled its new Centenario, which is a gorgeous extreme uh, addition of its new vehicle. So Lamborghini is designing only four of these Centenario hypercars and it's supposed to keep up with the standards of 1500 horsepower of the Bugatti Chiron which we just recently looked at and in my opinion this car looks absolutely beautiful so it, to me it looks very similar to the Zintorno in game the Pegasi Zintorno and I know that the Zintorno is based primarily off of the Lamborghini Siesto Elemento but I still think it takes a lot of features that we see from real life in game both have like those vertical strakes in the grill and the bright color accents are extremely similar to the Zintorno that we see in game and the one that we see in real life this car is so fierce looking so beautiful I think the one they showed was like primarily all carbon fiber with those yellow accents that just look incredible I'll leave links once again to all the articles in the description so you can check it out for yourself but I really do think this would be cool if they created like a Zintorno 2.0. 
I think that would be awesome. And I know Rockstar likes to create parody names of the cars they create. So instead of Lamborghini Centario, maybe they could do like Pegasi Centaur or something like that. I think that would be a pretty cool name. Could you imagine that coming into the game? So that's an absolutely beautiful vehicle that was shown off at the Geneva Motor Show 2016. And also what I think would be a beautiful kind of second rendition of a Zentorno styled Pegasi vehicle. Okay, and the last car I want to show you guys is actually a hypercar. Now, I don't know if Rockstar would ever consider bringing a hypercar into the game, but one of the vehicles at the Geneva Motor Show was the Apollo Aero, which they're calling a shark if it could move at 220 miles an hour. So the engineers of this car say that it can go from zero to 60 in 2.9 seconds with a maximum speed of 224 miles an hour and a cool 1,000 horsepower. So I'm going to show you guys some photos, obviously, right now. And I personally think this is my favorite one. I mean, just look at the way that, like, arrow is inscribed into the grill on the back, and that mesh just looks incredible. You can see this car looks so sleek, so aerodynamic. It almost looks like it would fit perfectly in Grand Theft Auto Online. As you'll see in a little bit, this car is just has so many like divots and creases. It's got a giant spoiler on the back. When you open up the engine, it just looks beyond insane. I mean, this car doesn't even look like it's from this world. It almost looks like if it's from a future where like this is the standard car that you would see out on the streets. That's how high tech, futuristic, and just absolutely beautiful this vehicle does look. And I think this would be awesome. I know it's in a different class and a different category, but maybe Rockstar would considering add, adding hypercars to maybe the supercar category or at least changing up and maybe creating a hypercar class. I think that would be amazing. So anyways, I'll leave, like I said, a link to that in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. There were a ton of other cars that I'm not going to mention in this video. Aston Martin was there. They were unveiling a bunch of new stuff, uh, and obviously we see a bunch of their cars in GTA 5, but I'll let you guys check that out in the description for yourself. What I want to check out next is actually some designs that my good friend Zayko Gaming, he actually sent me of some hybrid vehicles. Now, we've taken a look at hybrid cars in the past where they essentially combine two cars in game and fuse them into one and this one that he sent me right here is just absolutely incredible it's a combination of the hot knife and the new albany roosevelt so i'll show you guys a few photos on the screen right now so you can check it out it is beyond incredible a lot of the hybrid cars we've looked at today like kind of look funky and almost don't look like they belong but these photos that i'm showing you guys right now are absolutely beautiful it's like it was a car that was born into the game and that didn't need to have mods to recreate it or to be fused together. So that is just an absolutely beautiful hybrid design right there. Zyko, thank you so much for sending that to me. And also, I get asked every day, what would you want to see added into Benny's original motor work? You know, what car would come next? And a lot of people say the Volcar Warner, which was a car we got with the I Am Not a Hipster update. And this is actually a, I guess, benny version of the Volcar Warner. So I'll show you guys a few photos right now. Just looks absolutely incredible. You can see it again. These are coming from me from Zyko. You can see the livery on there. It looks to be a purple, blue, gray kind of gradient that goes from the left to the right all the way to the back. You can see the massive uh, exhaust pipes that are going on there. That just looks absolutely insane. Once again, I'll be sure to include Zyko's link in the description. So if you want to check out all of those for yourself, but I really do just believe that the Volcar Warner, after seeing these photos, would be a great addition of GTA Online and would be a great fit for Benny's original motor work to have. But anyways, that's really all the information I'm going to be talking about for you guys in this video today and all the things we're going to be looking at. I'm really excited just about what's going on in GTA 5 and in the real world. So that's why I wanted to bring you guys this video today. If you did go on to enjoy, a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.